Welcome to section number three in ITIL Foundation training. In this section, we are going to cover the four dimensions of service management. The four dimensions form an essential core component of ITIL 4. These four dimensions form the resources for service management. These are organizations and people, information and technology, partners and suppliers, value streams and processes. The numbers are not important, the one, two, three, and four, they may be in any sequence. They just represent that there are, that there are four dimensions. You also see that these four dimensions are required to create value, to create products and services and to create value. Or rather, they need to be considered in uh, creation of products and services, thereby enabling value. And at the boundary, we have the factors because every dimension is affected by multiple factors such as political, economical, social, technological, legal and environmental. For example, people in an organization, a service provider organization or a service consumer organization are impacted by industry uh, regulations, for example, wages or uh, other people policies. And these may be part of uh, legal factors or uh, economical factors, for example, uh, changes to the labor rate uh, from the economy uh, is an economic factor. There may be political situations which may change, uh, which may impact people or information technology handling, etc. Those are once again known as the pestle factors, P-E-S-T-L-E -E for pestle. So what are these four dimensions of service management? These represent perspectives which are relevant to the whole service value system. And the service value system we will see afterwards, it includes the service value chain, the practices, the guiding principles, the governance and the continual improvement model. The four dimensions are constrained or constrained or influenced by several external factors, the pestle factors which are often beyond the control of the service value system. So we have two main core concepts in ITIL 4. On one hand, we have the four dimensions, which are the perspectives for creations, creation of services and products. On the other hand, we have the service value system and the service value system and the four dimensions interact with each other. The service value system is actually a collection of five components. And we will look at the service value system in more detail afterwards in another section. What are the four dimensions? They are shown here as well. The four of them, organizations and people, information and technology, partners and suppliers, value streams and processes. These four dimensions are important when creating value for customers and other stakeholders. Let us look at deeper, take a deeper look at how that happens. The first dimension, which is organizations and people. What does it mean? If you look at these boxes here on the left, it could imply the formal organization structures, culture, required staffing and competencies, roles and responsibilities, authorities, and so on. Which means that any service endeavor is influenced or impacted by the organization and people dimension or any service requires a certain team culture an organization culture, certain skills, competencies, and certain authorized roles and responsibilities and competencies. This, so this is a good reference point to develop a new service or to maintain an existing service. In other words, so to do service management, it is necessary to consider the organization and people dimension. Because organizations are growing in complexity, they're becoming digital as of now. These factors, these considerations are essential towards the operating model and strategy for service management. People are key elements. People need to keep their skills up to date. 
the digital era has relevance to new type of skills faster development of skills having multiple skills rather than specializing in one just one area though specialization may be possible only maybe in one or two areas not too many but there is also now a requirement to have a broad skill base which may not be in depth so combination of one or two in depth skills and uh, or many other broad skills this dimension may also mean uh, other things like um, the communication approach the communication style or culture for example an organization may have a written way of communication more than spoken way or vice versa what are the attitudes and shared values and beliefs culture of the company is it uh, for example uh, an innovation culture or a team culture or uh, an aggressive culture meaning uh, productivity oriented but without social uh, responsibility and how is the management and leadership how is the trust transparency and collaboration if we again look at a little other things as part of organizations and people we also see another point here which is the breakdown of silos silos meaning when it it indicates lack of collaboration in a true modern digital organization different departments should not be siloed meaning it should not be treated as a separate uh, from marketing sales hr etc all of them have to work hand in hand to create and maintain services the days are gone when uh, one department could not provide feedback to another in a collaborative culture all departments need to support each other by providing honest feedback uh, in a respectful manner for mutual benefit so that the goals of the organization rather than the goals of the individual departments are fulfilled 